time you were assembled in this uh, auditorium at a large gathering uh, to watch the presentation that was made to me, an announcement. Well, today I have a surprise for you. One of the persons who adopted our school is with us. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce the President of the United States. This is like theater in the round. Uh, if I sit down anyway, somebody's going to be behind me here. Uh, well, the last time we met, we didn't really meet. Mr. Dalton and I were at the White House, and you were all here, and we were beamed in here on television. And it was at that point that <laughs> he learned for the first time that the White House wanted to adopt Congress School, and we're very happy that we did. I know that some of our people have been here and have been in your classes. Uh, there have been field trips and all, and I have to tell you, they're learning as much from those meetings as you are, and maybe more at times, but they've, they're all enjoying it. And we, we all are very interested in education and the importance of this school and what what it's going to mean in all your lives. And it may seem strange to you, but years and years from now, when you're as old as I am, if anyone could ever be that old, you're going to be surprised at how much you remember about these days right here in this school and how much they're going to mean to you. But now I understand, you know, if you're going to be partners, and incidentally, this whole idea of partnership is spreading all over the whole country, all the way across. I'm almost afraid to tell you who are partners of the schools in San Diego because then you'll probably wish that you had them instead of us. But the football team there and the baseball team there have adopted schools in San Diego. But this is going on. Now there has to be some kind of personal relationship when you're doing this. So I'm going to, I want to have a student from here be a pen pal, and we'll exchange letters. And uh, I understand that the young man who's going to do this is Rudolf Hines. Where is Rudolf Hines? He doesn't know this yet. Where? Rudolf, come on up here. Hi. My name's Reagan. <laughs> Rudolph, the idea is that you and I'll kind of exchange letters with each other, and you write and I'll answer you, or I'll write and you'll answer me, and we'll kind of keep in contact that way, and maybe you can tell me some of the things that are going on here, and maybe sometimes in my letters I'll complain about what's going on at the White House. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there. Now, I understand that we've got a little time in which I can answer questions. And so I'm going to ask you, Rudolph, you'll have to keep watching them to see who raises their hand. And just for one, at least, uh, Will you pick the first one that I'm supposed to answer? So who has a question? I know there must have been times when you said, boy, if I could ask him something, I'd sure ask him this or that. So go ahead. Who has a question? That's you. I'd like to repeat the question. He said, what do you do at the White House? <laughs> Well, there are a lot of people that have been asking that question. Let me just give you an idea of what's taken place so far today, and maybe that will explain it. Uh, this morning, into the White House for what we call a staff meeting. That's catch up with anything that's new or uh, that we need to discuss uh, uh, for today. 
And then I went into the cabinet room, and we had uh, a number of congressmen in there, leaders and chairmen of committees and so forth in the Congress, and I discussed with them plans for trying to reduce the federal deficit. And uh, we had a good meeting. Then I went back to the Oval Office, and two gentlemen came in who are not part of government, but who have just come back from a trip to the Middle East, and they've been in several countries over there. They've been in uh, Turkey and Saudi Arabia and Morocco and, uh, well, a number of other, Egypt and Oman and those countries, and they wanted to tell me, they had met there with the heads of government in those states, and they reported to me on the things that they had discussed and that the, these heads of state uh, had discussed with them as to things that we can do to be closer with them. And then they left the office, and in came uh, two foreign ministers, the foreign minister of a country in Central America, Costa Rica, and the foreign minister of Honduras. Now, these are both countries down there where we're trying to be helpful and where there is war going on and people are being killed, and we're hoping that we can find an answer that will end all that and allow them to live better and live the way we do and live in peace with each other. And at about that time, somebody came into the office and just stood there staring at me until I knew that they were telling me that time was up. And I said goodbye to the foreign ministers because I had to get in the car and come over here to Congress school. So that's not just an idea of what part of the day is. And Pretty soon somebody's going to look at me or tap me on the shoulder and tell me I have to go back over to the Oval Office because I have another meeting over there. That, uh, now, now I'm on my own, aren't I? Young lady, yes. She wants to know, would you return to politics or go back to the movies? when you leave the White House? <laughs> well, uh, no, I think that probably it's a time for me to retire from thinking about the movies. Uh, I have a hunch, uh, we have a ranch, which I miss very much. And I have a hunch that uh, when this job is over, that maybe I'll just go to the ranch and ride my horses and do the things that have to be done around the ranch. There's always a lot to be done. As a matter of fact, last summer I had a couple of weeks there and we built some 400 feet of fence out of telephone poles. And uh, there were just three of us working at it. So I'd find things to do, but uh, no, I, um, I don't know what, I liked pictures and I liked working in them, but I think that's all finished now. And there, and you, yeah. He wants to know, how did you get to become president? Oh. <laughs> well, I think there are always some people that tell you whether uh, you should try to do that or not. And uh, this happened. I had been governor of California for eight years. And on the basis of that, that there were people that thought that I should seek this particular job. And so I did. And. Uh, was elected by the people to be president. And I have to tell you, it's, uh, it's a hard job, but it's also a very challenging and fulfilling thing to have an opportunity to do something that you think might help uh, the people of our country. Now, I think I better turn to the other side here, hadn't I? Well, all right. He wants to know, will the White House adopt our school again next year? Oh, I didn't know this was a yearly thing. I, that we've adopted the school, and as long as I'm in the White House, uh, you're our school. There's. She I'll wants, get you next. She wants to know, how do you feel about Congress Height as a whole since the adoption? 
Well, from everything that I've heard from all of our people who have been able to come here, and incidentally, I know I've met some of you before, and not just on television, because there were some of you who visited the White House, and I saw you outside on the south lawn there and got to say hello to a, to a number of you. But uh, from all that I've heard, everybody on our side is very happy uh, that you're our adopted school. She'd like to know, what do you like most about being the president? Visiting Congress School. <laughs> there, there are, may I just add to that also, as you know, there are other things too. I think it's being in a position where you can be of help to people, and I like people. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear you. Neither one of us heard you. How has your business been going? <laughs> How has your business been going? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you, business has been steady. <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh, I mentioned going to the ranch last summer and everything, and uh, my wife, Nancy, uh, told me after that vacation, she said that she's decided that presidents don't get vacations, they just get a change of scenery. Uh, yes. She'd like to know, what are your feelings about supporting a woman as presidential candidate in 1988? <laughs> well, I have to tell you this, that I am firmly convinced, I don't know that I can say about a particular year or not uh, who'd be supported. I am com convinced that one day, before too long, there's going to be a woman holding this job. And uh, among the heads of state, that I have been able to meet uh, both when I was governor and since I've been president. Uh, people like Golda Meir when she was the head of government of Israel, uh, Margaret Thatcher who was the present prime minister of England, Indira Gandhi of India. I have found them to be really tremendous people, wonderful people and strong leaders and uh, I see no reason why the United States uh, should not be able to do the same thing. Little girl in red, yes. <laughs> well, shall we, shall we try the one in green? Then I'll come back to you. She wants to know, how did you get to the White House? Uh, does she mean to live in it? Or, uh, <laughs> I think she means, how did you get to be president at the White House? Okay. Well, I've asked myself the same question several times. But I think that it all came from when I was asked and agreed to become the governor or seek the governorship of California. And on the basis of the eight years there as governor, that led uh, to this. I have to tell you though, I never had any idea in my life prior to that time that uh, I would ever be doing anything like, like this. So don't be surprised or don't be disturbed if you, all of you, haven't made up your minds yet what you want to do uh, with your future, with your life. Uh, I didn't really settle down to what I was going to do until I'd actually finished my total education. Now I said we'd turn to you. She'd like to know why did you decide to adopt Congress Height out of all of the other schools? Well, we had looked at a number and uh, then between us we all decided that this was the school we'd like to do, so we had a, a meeting on education over at the White House, 
and it was covered by television, and the television was being played also to your school here, as you know, and uh, there on television, we made the announcement that it was your, going to be your school, and Mr. Dalton, who was standing there beside me, didn't know that I was going to say that. So I think we just did it, that we believed that here was the school that we would like to have this relationship with and get to know you and let you get to know us. Now, uh, Mr. President, I know you have another appointment. I want to interrupt to say that the Congress High School appreciates being a partner with the White House and your endeavors have been rewarding to the students. And before you go, we would like to uh, make a small presentation to you from one of your schools. Uh, Tammy uh, Gardner will make a small presentation. Well, all right. Thank you very much. Mr. President, I would like to present this scroll to you from the family, from members of the Congress Heights family. Well, Tammy, thank you very much. These are all you, our partners. You've all signed this for us. Well, believe me, we're very proud to have this. Let me, well, of course, you've seen it because you all signed it. But, but well, this is wonderful. And Tammy, thank you and thank all of you. Now, I know I didn't get to all the hands, but I think as partners, there will be, there will be other occasions when we can get together and we'll uh, answer the questions we missed today or maybe by that time you'll figure out some different ones that you want to ask. But again, this has been a great pleasure, and well, if the principal says that I can't, that my time is up. <laughs> says that I can't take anywhere. That's, it's the same way with the press there in the press conferences. There are always more hands than we have time for. So again, just remember what you were gonna ask, and I know I'll be back again. Thank you all very much. And Rudolph, thank you.